Welcome to Offbeat Look with Camille Johnson on beauty, fashion, and hair. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I dyed my hair to look like a rainbow. I had done a lot of colors before, but I decided that it was time to do something bold and crazy. In my high school, I got the best hair superlative and wanted to do something awesome to it the night before the picture, which was a bit risky, but it turned out looking pretty good in my opinion. So this is how I did it. In my last video, I showed how I stripped out my previous blue hair color and bleached my roots. I probably should have left the bleach in for a little bit longer, but it ended up okay. The blue came mostly out and after one bleach bath, I decided it was light enough. I anticipated that the yellow would turn out a bit green, but I preferred that happen rather than have to bleach my hair again and damage it even more. So starting with bleached or really light hair, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a bunch of hair scrunchies to separate the sections of hair for each color. I parted my hair to get a rainbow shape that frames my face. I'm putting my first color there, so I'm sectioning that off. I'm doing the same thing to the next section back and repeating this process until I get all the hair on my head divided into rainbow shapes for each color of the rainbow. You can section it off in any shape that you want, and perhaps you want to do the same thing perpendicular to the direction that I did so you can get an interesting pattern of colors. Leaving the back section out, I took my purple dye, which was the Ion Color Brilliant Semi-Permanent Dye in Fuchsia, and squeezed out a bunch on my hands. I tend to only use gloves with harsh chemicals and like leaving them off with semi-permanent dyes because they're not harmful and my hands look pretty cool afterwards. Now you just want to pick some up and put it in your hair. I think it's easier to do without gloves too because you have more control. Just spread it throughout your hair and get it all the way down to the root without letting it bleed out into any other sections of your hair. Wash your hands to switch colors. Next, I'm doing the same thing with the blue dye, which is the same brand in sky blue. Last time I did blue, I had an absolutely dreadful time getting it out of my hair, and I knew exactly what I was getting myself into, but I did it for the vine, 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 just kidding. <laughs> but I couldn't omit the blue from the rainbow. I mean, that's almost illegal. Don't forget to wash your dirty hands before touching the green. The green I'm using is Electric Lizard by Manic Panic, which is a pretty neon green, and I fell in love with this color when I used it to do the rainbow. Before you use it, you have to peel off the safety sticker, and that might be a little bit tricky. Like, what the heck? Just come off, dude. Once I finally got it off, I removed the hair scrunchie and put in that green goo. It's like getting slimed on that Nickelodeon show. This color was pretty easy to show up since the base was already a bit green, but it shows up so well on really light hair. When you're done, wash your hands and get that yellow. This yellow is Manic Panic's brightest yellow and it's in the color... Let's see if I can get this sticker off. Hey, it's coming off. Kind of ripped though, but it's coming off. Now I'm putting it in that section for yellow. Not expecting it to show up that well, more like a yellowish green because of the base, but it showed up more yellow than I was expecting. Wash off your hands and get orange. The orange I'm using is also by Ion Color Brilliance in the color orange. How creative. <laughs> I'm using the same method to put it in, making sure I get all the way down to the roots and cover every strand, back and front. Make sure you do this with all of your colors so you don't get patchy hair. Wash your hands and get red. I'm mixing two dyes for my red. They're both Ion Color Brilliance dyes, and one's in red and the other's in magenta. I thought it would look a bit cooler than just red, and having magenta would probably help a little bit with the bleeding problem that this red has. If you mix colors, blend them so you get one solid color for the area and apply them like you normally do. Now all of my colors are on and the only thing left to do is wait. Once you're at the waiting stage, the way to always wait the perfect amount of time is to watch all of my videos on this channel and all of my videos on my vlog channel twice each and then your dye will be ready to come out. Or you could do it the standard way and wait 30 to 45 minutes minimum, but however long you want really. Sometimes I do solid colors and I put a plastic bag on my head and sleep with the color in and then wash it out the next morning. 
but don't do that with multicolored dye jobs or you'll mess it up. So I left this in for probably about an hour or two. Also, now your hands are tie-dyed and you look like a totally rad artist, so make sure you keep them that way and go to school so people will think you're really avant-garde and interesting. That's what I always do. <laughs> I washed each color out separately so they wouldn't bleed into each other and curled my hair for the school photo, but didn't film that part because it was already 3 in the morning and I finished like 2 hours before I had to leave for school. That's dedication to the hair game right there. I wore it down, but I also like these ponytails that look slightly lopsided right now since I accidentally curled one side more than the other. Anyways, I got all the dyes from Sally's Beauty Supply, and if you ever recreate this look or something similar, tweet me a picture or post it on Instagram and tag me. My username is offbeatlook, and my social media are all in the description box. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Kisses!